All right, so next we are going to see the button response type. And this one is a little bit tricky. That's what I would say. So to get started, let's go to the agent and create an intent called show button type. Let the phrase be show me button. That's uh, sufficient. And what I'm going to do is copy this, go to the intent, delete this text response, add the custom payload, paste whatever I got from there. And instead of example.com, I'm going to change it to google.com so that it's a real uh, actual valid site. I also want you to notice something. Notice that it has this event uh, field inside the rich content. So you can see that the event field has three uh, fields, the language code. So I'm going to make it en. And since we have an event called parallel, I'm going to add that into this uh, into this name over here. And I'm not going to pass any parameters to that event. So let's just save that. So you can see that there is some text, which is just called button text. There is an icon and there is this event and there is the type which uh, explains what type it is to dialog flow in this case it's a button and then you have this finally this hyperlink okay so if you go to the editor and if you ask for this type of response show me button so it did come back with the response that's great and also notice that it's a clickable uh, button right now if I click on it I want you to see what actually happens so I'm going to click on it now this is good because it is opening the uh, the URL that is specified in a new tab and then when you go back to the page which had the chat widget you also see that it comes back with this hello from the parallel universe now this is coming here because we had this event called parallel when you click on this button it opened this google.com URL and also it sent this, it sort of invoked the event called parallel in your agent. And of course, we know that if you do that, it's going to come back with this response, hello from the parallel universe. Now, this is, uh, this is all fine and this is sort of expected. But the problem with the button type is that its behavior is not changing even if I remove that link. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove this link from the button and I'm going to save it now. All right, so let's start this fresh and go here, say show me button. And I want you to notice something. When I click on it, it actually opened a new window, even though I didn't specify anything in the link. So what it really did is sort of like it went back to the page where it was already there to the same URL, which is it's like as if it navigated to no other, no, no new URL, it just stayed on the same page, except that of course you are in now a new tab and this is where the old tab is still is, which has the actual widget, like with all your interactions, right? But it did invoke the event. So what's happened here is even after I removed the link, it went to the page which was like a blank page. So it just reloaded the page, the page, same page where the this widget resides and it also invoked the event that we have over here. So this is not good behavior. So when, when I have both the event and the link, uh, first of all, that's I, I don't think that's good design, but even let's say we permit that. Um, but if I remove the hyperlink, it shouldn't be, uh, it, should not, it should not open a new tab when I click on it. If there is no link field, it should just, uh, if I click on this, all it should do is invoke the event and come back with a response. It's unnecessarily, it's unnecessarily opening this new tab and confusing everybody. So, and of course you see that I clicked it one more time and it came back with the same uh, event which was invoked again, which is, which is fine, that is expected. So that's the first part of the tricky behavior that I'm talking about. Now, let's say that I, I remove the event. So all I'm left with is the text and the icon and the type. So let's save that. Let's go back to the WebStorm editor, open this page and ask the same question. 
Now, see, it still has this link, right? Now, if I click on it, it goes to the new tab without opening a new page. It, it sort of reloads the same page and it does nothing else, which is fine because it's the, there is, we removed the event option from the um, response object. So it's not supposed to do anything else here. So what I'm trying to say is that even though there is a feature which is allowing you to uh, click on the button and invoke an event so that it goes to a new intent in the agent, my suggestion would be to use this purely as a button which has a hyperlink which goes to a different page. In other words, what I'm saying is, let's go back here and I want to see what, what's the name. So let's take this, this guy over here and let's paste it. And also make sure we change the URL. So this is valid. So what I'm saying is just keep it like this. Just have your text and the icon and the type and the link and don't use the event because it would not work as you anticipate. It might be a bug. I, I hope it is and I hope that the, the Dialogflow team changes this very soon. But for now, it's not a reliable response type. And I think that the only use for it, the way it works right now, is to be able to have a hyperlink with the button, which is like the whole thing should be clickable if that's what you want, like this. If you want, this is the behavior that you want. Yeah, that's fine. Then go ahead and use the button. But otherwise, I'm going to recommend that you don't use this uh, button type unless they fix this issue and make it either or behavior.